what up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your girl Hannah, aka Ruta, and you are watching Manifest Mondays on the Uprooted Network. Um, it's the late night edition because it has been a long day, and ironically, of course, today I'm talking about time management. So, would you look at the uniform, the universe just giving it to you, right? Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna talk to y'all a bit about it. Um, and use myself as an example, as always, as a case study. Remember, case study, okay? Don't not role model, not inspiration. Make sure case study is at the top of that list. Um, but what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? How you living? I um, have had quite a day. But I have decided that Mondays are going to be my day regardless. And so... In true form, because consistency is a core value to me, I rallied and I made it back here today because um, I, I didn't want to miss this episode. This episode was important to me. So I'm making sure that I am showing up and showing out, you know? Um, aw, someone. Look, I'm happy you're good. I'm tired. I don't know if it's reading on my face. I'm tired, but I am highly favored. I am blessed. And um, luckily for me, I was able to take a beautiful nap. I'm going to get a couple things done and then I'm going to go. Oh, yeah. Y'all do me a favor. Make sure you're sending this um, to friends. I don't know. Instagram updated and it's like all these new buttons. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so anyways, it is what it is. Oh, yes, Tuesday on the other side of the planet. You're right. See, usually I do this in the morning and I catch everybody. But happy Tuesday to y'all on the other side of the planet. I'm trying to be where y'all are um, by the end of this year. So if y'all want to help me manifest me traveling internationally to the other side of the planet, go ahead and add that to the list of things. Okay. Hey, sis, how you doing, Amelia? Oh, y'all. Your baby is so beautiful. You bring so much joy to my timeline, sis. You really do. You really do. Um, especially days where I'm tired. I just be going through people's like happy pictures. I'm like, oh, so beautiful. Um, okay, let me focus. <laughs> okay, what's up, y'all? What's up? So today we are continuing on with the Create Your Joy timeline this season. Um, I put that personal development course and, and I'm running through it now and it's been super, super dope. So this week's um, session with the students, we're focusing on time management. And those of you um, who are following along and doing it on your own, this is going to be the challenge for you this week is make sure if you've done all your goal setting last week, um, that you also realize you're going to have to put it into action weekly with your tasks, right? Um, you're going to have to break it down to like a very granular, small level. So what you're going to do this week, if you're focusing on time management, if you're focusing on actually executing on those goals and plans that you have set, um, we're going to have to learn <laughs> what tools we're going to use and what's going to be the most effective for us. And before you can do that, you really need to assess how you're already currently managing your time. So I kind of tried to write a couple of little tips and tricks down um, for those of you who are doing it on your own. I'm, I promise you guys, you can Google most of these things. I'm just trying to give you a starting point on how to do this. Um, yes. Okay. Listen, sis, y'all. Saba, I'm going to see you in Melbourne, okay? Melbourne, Perth, Sydney, okay? All of the places. Australia, I'm coming to you this year. I need all my Aussies to manifest that. Thank you faithfully, you know, now that the border is open, okay? We we, we going out there. United to God to Australia, yes. And it is being recorded, sis. So we're going to play this back um, as soon as I land there. So, yes, um... Let me go back to, to what we're talking about. So the one thing I want y'all to really pay attention to is figuring out the rhythm of your own clock, okay? Like, I know that time <laughs> exists for all of us, or at least we follow this time of 24 hours in a day, um, but all of us don't tick the same way. And what I mean by that is some of us are morning people, right? Some of us are afternoon, some of us are evening, and then some of us are just vampires, okay? That's fine. 
you need to go with the rhythm of your own internal clock, your own internal flow and system. And that's when you get to manipulate your time however you want. Um, until then, you kind of play in that nine to five structure. But most of you probably realize like, yeah, this nine to five structure, I'm not as productive as I could be. Like you, those situations don't work for you. But until you know how to manage your own time, it's really hard to give somebody just free reign of that. Right. Um, so what you want to do is assess, assess where you're at, uh, track yourself. I want y'all to track yourself like Siri does. Okay. You know how we always think our phone's listening to us. Okay. Well, why don't you just actually like tell it what you're doing? So I want you to track what you're doing for 24 hours like literally minute to minute. And if you can do that for seven days, what you're going to do after that is go back and look for a pattern. Look to see when do you kind of zone out and start scrolling on your phone? You know, oh, I was only looking at it for five minutes. And it's like, not really. You was actually scrolling for 45 minutes. <laughs> you know, there's a reason I really have this theory why, you know, TikTok got its name. Because like TikTok, tick tock right it's a clock they're sitting there sucking up your time attention is money to them so they're making it as addictive as they can next thing you know if you really looked at your tracking system for the whole week of your own time you probably actually spent like six to eight hours just scrolling social media and that's six to eight hours that you could have been working out you know i'm not saying that to like shame anyone i'm saying if your goal is to be healthier then you have to take out all that negative um, waste of time, right? You got to manage that. And the, before you can manage that, you got to be aware of where the pattern is, where the pattern step, stems from. So the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is track yourself. Really, really track your time. See where you're using it. If you have an iPhone, Siri is really helpful in this, okay? They track your screen time. <laughs> You can literally go back and see when and how much um, time you spend on whatever apps you're on, uh, let alone your computer, right? Doing your actual work. It's like we get so sucked in that it's like, oh, you didn't realize like you stole 30 minutes here. You stole an hour here. You know, another hour was stolen there. After a while, that adds up. And once you calculate that and you accumulate it over time, then you're like, wow, that's actually enough time for me to do that part-time side hustle that I've been trying to do. So um, this week, like I said, it's all about you figuring out the rhythm of your own clock and creating a system for how you want to manage that. My cousin said 100%, listen, so you got to do. Some people are like, man, you get so much done because I have discipline, <laughs> okay? It's not because I'm like superior to anybody I'm not more talented um, than anybody else, right? I I know what I'm gifted at, but there's plenty of things I'm not gifted at, right? And that those things, I got to spend more time getting better at. Like, for instance, right now, I'm trying to get better at editing. I, it's not my forte. Can I do it? Yes. But does it take me a lot of time? Yes. So it's either pay somebody to do that or get better at it, one or the other, you know? And I'm stubborn, so I'm going to take the time to get better at it. If for nothing else, I'll be able to communicate with my future editors, right? So that's just like an example of like what I got to pay attention to. So if I want to put that course into my time, right, into my weekly schedule, that's, you know, two to four hours that I need to put on my calendar and block out so that I'm not talking to anybody else because that requires my full undivided attention, Actually, that's a good point. I need to do that this week. So if y'all don't see me on the internet, that's what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> that's going to be my goal for the week. So again, track yourself. Pay attention to where you're spending time, literally minute to minute. It sounds tedious, but if you can track yourself for 24 hours at least, um, if not seven days, you will start to see the ebbs and flows in your schedule, in your time, how you're feeling. Actually, that's the other tip. Track it. Go back and reflect and look for the patterns. But if you're a rock star, okay, this is for you overachiever students. <laughs> if you're an overachiever student, I want you to journal each day or at least take some notes of your mood throughout the day. Like try to go back and think about 
man, I was real frustrated or I was real cranky or I felt really, really tired, like, oh, my energy dipped. If you go back and you're you're that advanced student and you want to track this, you're really, really serious about this, track your mood too. So then when you go back and you look at that pattern, you can pay attention to what activities, right? Um, what people you were around, um, maybe even the environment that you were in and start to notice, oh, when I'm around these people, my energy dips, <laughs> right? I'm a little bit more drained, wax, whatever it is. Um, or you could say, oh, when I'm doing this activity, man, time just flies by. I don't even notice it. This is how you start to understand yourself and your rhythm. Then you can go back now and plan out your calendar and your agenda accordingly. Because you know, hey, like, yo, I'm not a, like in the morning, can't do this. I'm not a morning person, right? You can change that if you want to, but or you could just decide that, you know what, I don't want to be a morning person. I'm not going to be, <laughs> right? It's up to you. You just got to create a life that uh, supports that, right? Um, yep, <laughs> so wake up at 3 a.m. with the kids. Oh, God bless you. Listen, it is really a grind. And so you got to figure out, okay, well, look, um, on my most optimal day or in my most optimal period of my day even, you could start small. I have woken up, had my breakfast, you know, had some of you, you know, had your coffee, whatever it is, tea, um, pre-workout. I don't know, whatever you do in the morning, <laughs> you you had all that. You had some time to stretch. You know, we get older. Please, please make sure you stretching. OK, warm that body up and you, you got to do all that. You didn't rush out the door. Right. You had your clothes was ready. Um Whatever it is, like you were just like, man, this was great. I started out my day fantastic. Pay attention to like what make those made those things happen for you, and try to replicate it and build your boundary around it. So when you're looking at your schedule for the next week, like yo, I need to start my mornings in this particular way. That means I might need to wake up an hour earlier so that I have that alone time. Um, what do I gotta give up to get that hour back? Because everything is compromised. So maybe you got to sleep earlier, right? Um, and if you need to sleep earlier, that means you got to get your tasks done before that. So all of this to say, like when you are really tracking yourself, when you're really paying attention to your patterns and thoughts and feelings, you can start to create your schedule the way you want to, right? And you'll be much better for it. Especially those of you who are still struggling with working from home and being remote. And um, maybe you really want that and you like that comfort, but it's really hard on you to be productive and, and like stay disciplined and consistent. I get that. So do this, track yourself, build a system that makes sense for you. I suggest, you know, getting Google Calendar, getting a planner, doing something because you need to write things down. Uh, like stop trying to make your brain remember everything that's gonna fail. Um, and then I need y'all to really give yourself a lot of grace and give yourself flexibility in your schedule. The other downfall that people do is they schedule every single minute of their day and you don't like give room for life to happen, right? Like for instance, today, um, when I got home in the afternoon, I just was not feeling well. Like my body is still adjusting to certain things in my diet. Like I have been removing a lot of things. And so sometimes I am drained. There's other issues that I have with PCOS. Um, those symptoms flare up when they feel like it or when I'm neglecting something. And so I'm still constantly learning my body. And in each new chapter comes these times and moments where I'm just out, right? Like just knocked out. And I was like, bro, I can I can try to fight this and push through or I can just give myself what, it, what I need and that's a nap, right? And I was like, that's fine. I'm gonna take this nap and feel better. And I'll get up and I can stay up a little later because I'm capable of that. And I know that I have flexibility tomorrow that if I do stay up, I can sleep in if I need to. Or I can just adjust it in my schedule because I've given myself the flexibility of 24 hours for anything that comes up. I have like an extra 24 hours in my schedule that is just like free time. That's like, yo, if something comes up, I'm going to steal from that pot. 
just like you budget your finances, okay, you need to budget your time too. And if family is important to you or if you have health concerns or uh, X, Y, Z, you need to make sure that you give yourself some flexibility in your schedule for life to happen. Okay, you're not going to be perfect all the time. Give yourself grace. Like, I don't feel bad. It took me a while. I had to re, I had to rally myself <laughs> back to health to, to get my appetite back. And I was like, okay, hold on. I feel a little weak still. I'm not going to push it. Um, you know, I had to deal with some triggers emotionally earlier. And that was taking a toll on my body too. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to fight this. Let me go take care of me. When I feel better, I'm going to come back on here. I'm going to do what I need to do. And I'm going to get the work done that I need to work on. Um, and because I didn't overload my schedule today, I'm, I don't feel bad. I'm not behind. So this is what I want y'all to do. Really make sure, figure out the rhythm of your clock. You know, figure out the things that work for you. Take your time doing that this week. You know, investigate yourself. You know what I mean? Do the, re do the reflections. And um, let me know how they work for you. I'm, I'll try to post these tips again. And those of you who are really working on it, let me know if you're if you're manifesting something, if you're working on yourself and you need that extra support and guidance, I'm here to manifest with y'all. Shoot me a message. The link to, to everything uprooted is in the bio. I want y'all to remember we're doing this together as a community. I'm doing everything that you're doing. So if you need that extra accountability, please reach out. <laughs> okay. Um, if there's anybody in the building who would like me to manifest for them right now, let me know. And um, while y'all figure that out, I just want to remind you again, all the episodes are on YouTube now. They're streaming on um, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you're listening. Full episodes are no longer on Instagram. So make sure that you are subscribed everywhere else and get your notifications. I also have a lot of dope things coming this summer. So make sure you're tapped in, that you're getting your notifications, and you are sharing things with your friends, okay? So with that said, I don't see anybody that's um, looking for some help tonight on manifesting. So what I do want to say, and what I want to manifest for everybody, really and truly, is that you build a sustainable life for yourself. And in that, I hope that you are prioritizing happiness. I'm, I'm manifesting that. I'm manifesting that for everyone that you're putting in, putting yourself in first position, not in like a selfish way, but in a very loving and kind way, remembering that you have one life to live, that you are given only one body, and that you have a limited amount of time to experience everything, because once it's gone, it's gone. And it's not to to say like or make people feel bad. It's I'm not telling you to sprint through the race. I'm telling you to enjoy the journey, to appreciate the learning, to prioritize your rest and your peace, and that you make time and space for love and for light and for joy because there's plenty of darkness, there's plenty of problems, right? There's plenty of hurt. Um, it's going to happen every day, intentionally sometimes and not intentionally other times. We could focus on that and we can choose to spend all, all our energy there. But what I'd rather manifest is that you find a way to literally, like what Hyolum said during the episode, depersonalize it. You know, walk through life lighter. Have some Teflon on you. Don't let everything affect you, right? You got you got to find a way to to balance it out. And I'm here to try to help y'all do that as I myself get better at it every day. And I'm just manifesting all that love and light for you. So yeah, everybody have a happy and beautiful rest of your Monday um, and Tuesday. I will see you guys back on Wednesday for Black Woman Wednesday. I have a really dope sister coming on my... Um, my friend from down under. <laughs> so ironically, this manifesting Australia into my life is great timing. Um, so yeah, I hope y'all enjoy that. Yes, have a beautiful night.